दिस वीडियो इज प्रिपेयर बाय आव्या क्लासेस प्लीज सब्सक्राइब द चैनल रेज योर डाउट एंड वॉच द वीडियो फॉर श्योर सक्सेस इन जे एम सन नीट नाउ विल सी लेवल टू प्रॉब्लम एंड ए बॉडी इज अटैच टू अ लोअर एंड ऑफ ए वर्टिकल स्पायरल स्प्रिंग एंड इट इज ग्रेजुअली लोअर टू इट्स इक्विलिबीरियम पोजिशन दिस स्ट्रेच द स्प्रिंग बाय अ लेंथ एक्स इफ द सेम बॉडी अटैच टू द सेम स्प्रिंग इज अलाउड टू फॉल सडनली what would be the maximum stretching in this case and this is very good problem i have drawn three figure for this this is the first figure when the spring is having its natural length with zero stretching and in this case we have spring having a its natural length l now in the figure 2 the spring is allowed to fall gradually so in this case at any point of time the 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 velocity of mass m will be equal to zero that is we are moving this mass m very slowly having zero velocity and in this case we just consider the force equation where the force in the towards y axis will be same so for the figure 2 for figure 2 if i write the free body if i draw the free body diagram then here in the downward side you will have mg and in the upward side we have force equal to kx with the spring so if it is stretched by a distance x and stabilized at this point then the force f is equal to kx will act upward which will counterbalance the downward force mg and you get x is equal to mg by k now we'll consider the figure third here the the spring is or the object is allowed to fall suddenly so the the the, the velocity when the object when the spring is at its, its natural length l so if the if i if we allow this mass to fall from x is equal to 0 so here it's a natural length and x is equal to 0 so if it is allowed to fall then when it is it comes to the point x then it will acquire some velocity so here the uh, it will acquire some some velocity and because of this this velocity it will go to its maximum point so and the maximum stretching in this case will be x2 so when the spring is allowed to fall suddenly it basically oscillates between its its new mean pole position this is our new mean position position which just counter balance force mg so if i allow this this mass to fall suddenly so at the new mean position it will gain some velocity and because of this velocity it will move to a further distance uh, it will move to a total distance equal to x2 and how we will calculate the value of x2 so we we just apply the formula of energy conservation or the total mechanical energy remains to be constant so when when it is at this point so it is basically mg x2 is equal to 1 by 2 k x2 square so as the object has moved by a distance equal to x2 and it uh, produces a uh, expansion equal to x2 so this is the change in kinetic and uh, this is the change in the potential energy and it is it will be converted into the elastic potential energy of a spring so from there we get x2 is equal to twice mg by k from this figure it is it is clear that it will move to a further distance equal to x x distance upward from its new mean position so basically the object will uh, move in in between these two extreme and eventually it will settle down to its new new mean po uh, position so the object will move between these two point and after some period of time it will settle down to its new mean position so the maximum st stretching in this case will be equal to 2x so answer will be b the next problem is that a 15 gram ball is shot from a spring gun whose spring constant whose spring has a force constant of 
600 newton per meter the spring is compressed by 5 cm the greatest possible horizontal range of ball for this compression will be equal to so i just first draw the figure and then we will solve this problem so this is the suppose this is the spring gun which just which just throw this ball and for the greatest possible horizontal range the angle of projection must be equal to 45 degree so this this ball must be thrown at an angle equal to 45 degree so it must be thrown at an angle equal to 45 degree so we get theta is equal to 45 degree here and in, when the any object is thrown with an angle or the angle of projection will be 45 degree then the range will be maximum and is given by r max is equal to u square by g so r max is equal to u square by g and we have to calculate the range so r is equal to u square by g so how we will get the value of u so as we know that the spring is compressed by a 5 centimeter so when the spring is compressed by the 5 centimeter then the potential energy will be equal to half k x square and it will be eventually converted into the kinetic energy which is given by half m v square or here the velocity will be equal to u it is half m u square so 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 what will be the case the case will be in this way that the spring will be suppressed by a distance x spring will be suppressed by a distance x from its natural length so spring will be suppressed by a distance from its natural length and when the when the spring will comes to its natural length that is comes to its mean position then the ball will be thrown with a velocity v at an angle 45 degree so clearly half mu square is equal to half kx square and from there we get uh, the value of u so what we will do we just write we, 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 we just multiply this range by m so m u square by mg we may return and m u square by 2 is equal to 2 divided by mg so m u square by 2 is equal to half kx square so 1 by 2 kx square divided by 2 by mg now the all value are given we just need to put it so we just get the value is equal to kx square divided by mg and it is equal to range maximum range so just put the value of k so first k is equal to k is equal to 600 x square x is equal to 5 centimeter so 0 0.05 square divided by m is equal to 15 grams so 15 to 10 to the power minus 3 and g is equal to 10 now if we solve it we will get the value of rm so just we solve it so 600 into 25 into 10 to the power minus 4 divided by 10 to the power minus 3 into 15 into 10 so the value comes is equal to 6 into 25 into 10 to the power minus 2 divided by 10 to the power minus 2 into 15 and it's equal to 2 into 5 and 10 meter so answer will be 10 meter that is the maximum possible horizontal range of the ball for this compression will be equal to 10 meter now we will see next problem the system shown in figure is released from rest pulley and spring is massless and the friction is absent everywhere the speed of 5 kg block when 2 kg block leaves the leaves contact with ground is given by so you have to calculate the force constant of a spring k is equal to 40 newton divided by meter and g is equal to 10 meter per second square so we will first draw the figure when the 2 kg block leaves the contact with ground so this is our pulley this is our pulley and this is the case when 2 kg block leaves the contact with ground this mass is 2 kg and in this case the spring is 
stressed by a distance equal to x so suppose the spring is stressed by a distance equal to x at that point the 2 kg block leaves the contact with ground so if the spring is stressed by a distance equal to x then the spring restoring force will be kx so clearly this is the tension t with which it, it uh, pulls to the spring restoring force will act in this direction and it will be as if this is the massless pulley so it will be transferred into the other side and as this is the massless string so if this is the tension t then this will be the tension t and t is equal to kx so so basically this spring restoring force will move to the second string uh, second string and this restoring force will be responsible to lifting of the object from ground so if i just draw the free body diagram for 2 kg block then the downward side it force mg acts on the upward side it's a case kx acts so we just equate it when it leaves the contact with ground because uh, when it leaves the contact with ground the normal force n is equal to 0 so if i write also in this way that kx plus n is equal to mg and when leaves the contact with ground then n is equal to 0 and kx is equal to mg from there we get x is equal to mg by k so we first calculate the value of it m is 2 g is 10 and k is 40 so we get x is equal to 1 by 2 meter now we will apply the energy the conservation of mechanical energy on the 5 kg block so conservation of mechanical energy energy for 5 kg block so as this this block is shifted by a distance 5 meter uh, for the x meter vertically downward and it will the it will its potential energy will be decreased by the value equal to mg so we just write mg into x is the decrease in in potential energy and this decrease in potential energy will be converted into electrical potential energy given by half kx square and it will also produce a kinetic energy which is equal to half mv square and you have to calculate the value of this velocity v so again we will solve it so if we solve it then the value is equal to 5 into 10 into x is 1 by 2 is equal to half into k is value is 40 into x 1 by 2 square plus 1 by 2 into 5 into v square so now we will solve it then 5 v square by 2 is equal to 25 minus 40 gune 40 into 1 divided by 2 into 4 so it comes equal to 5 v square by 2 is equal to 20 and v square is equal to uh, 40 divided by 5 and is equal to 8 so v square is equal to 8 and v is equal to square root 8 and is equal to 2 root 2 meter per second so answer will be 2 root 2 meter per second and uh, the answer will be b here so in this way we just solve this kind of problem that you have to apply the conservation of mechanical energy you have to apply the the, the force equation and then solve it